Good night and welcome to another edition of Sports Monday. I am Paul Lopez. The La Ruta Maya Belize River Challenge is two weeks away and the boom to city canoe race sets the stage for that monster event. On Sunday morning, 25 canoes were at the starting line in Baraboom Village. The starting horn goes off and the paddlers began to dig deep as they all sped off. At Manantin Lookout, just outside of Belize City, Team Lucas is leading the charge. Team Guava Lim is close by in second place. Right on their tails are the Belize Coast Guard and Black Orchid Resort. Team Park and Team Wild pressed on behind the four lead canoes, as did Westline, Whatever Boys, and Riverside. At the Riverside Tavern in Belize City, two hours and 43 minutes after the start of the race, the Belize Coast Guard crosses the finish line in first place, all alone. Almost a minute later, Guavalim paddles across the finish, followed by Black Orchid Resort in third place. Team Lucas secured fourth place and Pac took home the fifth spot. We spoke with the victors of this challenge. It started to play, you know, when, when we were coming to, um, to the creek mouth. From here then we said, all right, then we were in a set position. Well, the position we didn't want it, but we still end up coming top three in it. And then after we just wait out, wait out, wait out. That's how we, um, we better us in. And um, the guy crashed each other, the two, two, um, the two top team crashed each other and then we just came around and started stepping step it from there and we didn't back down for nothing. Let's head back to the village where the Boom to City canoe race began but this time for the ninth annual Boom Run. This run features races in three categories, the 5, 10 and 15 kilometer races. A total of nine runners took off from the starting line for the 15 kilometer race. Shortly after, the starting horn went off for the 10 runners who ran the 10-kilometer race. The largest group of runners, more than two dozen, participated in the 5-kilometer run. Taking on the morning's cool and asphalt road, one foot in front, these runners raced on. At the 5-kilometer finish line, Christopher Broster ran in at first place. First place in the 10-kilometer race went to Giovanni Bizar, and in the female category, the first prize went to Jennifer Lopez. Albert Davis secured first place in the 15-kilometer race, adding another gold medal to his collection. Darisha Sabido also won gold for that distance in the female category. Here's some highlights from the elite race courtesy Ordonis Bike Shop. The starting line was established in Cotton Tree Village. Riders rode west to the Lomalos Boulevard, made a U-turn and then rode east to Belize City. From the starting line all the way to Central Farm, the field of riders remained together for the most part. The only time we saw breakaways were during sprints for station prizes. Here on the Lomelos Boulevard, we see the lead group of 10 riders turning on to the roundabout as they begin their ride east. The main field of riders only seconds behind. In Roaring Creek, Jivin Gonzalez streams past in first place, closely followed by Guatemalan rider Ronnie Hulahu. The main field of riders was just under a minute behind the lead group. Hulahu pressed gas just outside of Bimopan and created a significant gap between himself and the lead group. Outside of St. Matthew's Village, Jivin Gonzalez is leading a group of 11 riders who are 20 seconds behind lead rider Hulahu. A short distance from the Belize Zoo, Hulahu's lead has been cut down, bringing his valiant effort to an end. Melvin Torres makes the dash towards him. Bob Gabriel from nowhere challenges Hulahu for the station prize. Approaching mile 8, Jivin Gonzalez opens a gap with a surprise attack as he sprinted towards the wheels of Bob Gabriel, who was out front. With only a short distance left to finish, Gonzalez gets out of his saddle and rides off ahead of Gabriel. Jivin Gonzalez won the race and was crowned the 2024 Alfred Parks Memorial Race Champion. Bob Gabriel took home the silver medal, followed by Oscar Quiroz in third place. And finally for tonight, we bring you some action from the William Dawson Peace Cup. Here's some highlights from the match between Lake IFC and Hattieville. That game ended in favor of Lake IFC, two goals to one. 20 minutes into the match, 
Carlton Roberts capitalized on this opportunity for Hattieville. Right before the close of the first half, Lonnie Leslie placed Lake High on the scoreboard with this skillful touch into the goal. Lake High FC secured another victory with this free kick from on top of the penalty box, giving off a whistle for a handball. Well, folks, that's all we have for you in tonight's coverage of Sports Monday. Catch you in the next one.